Hi, and welcome back to the studio. Today I want to talk about wood, which is a very readily available and commonly used substrates and mosaics. One is MDF. Here's a couple examples in a couple different thicknesses. Another is MDF, but this has a prepared gesso finish. It's artboard, can be painted on. The next is plywood. This is a bit rougher type surface, not construct, a level above construction grade. Then there's a birch ply, which is in this frame. You can also buy this at big box stores. Most any of these you can. Birch ply is nice and stable. And then a lot of people like to use reclaimed dimensional lumber. This is a very old board. You always have to take care when using these that they're sealed properly and stable. In all of these cases, none of these materials are for outside use. I really like working with birch ply. I especially like working with these pre-made frames. Uh, when I use them, I like to paint out the frame before I start working. It makes it easier to clean up any little thing. You don't really need to do any other prep other than paint out the frame um, because this is a real porous material and takes glue really well. Last on the list, I guess, is dimensional lumber. I understand the artistic um, wishes to use reclaimed pieces. And as I said before, you just need to make sure they're really stable uh, and sealed. So this is an example of lumber that you would buy at Home Depot or anywhere. Uh, dimensional lumber is is the wood that's cut directly from the tree. It's had no treatment other than being uh, kiln dried. It's the least stable and really is not intended for use for mosaics. When I'm using wood, I try not to go too big because hanging becomes a bit tricky. One thing you need to look for is um, first of all, screws that are less than the depth of the surface that you're doing. And um, you can use a sawtooth hanger and screws or um, a D-ring. These screws are for wood and have a coarse thread so they bite in better. Um, fine threaded screws are not good for hanging your artwork. So I also wanted to talk about the composition of the MDF versus the plywood a little bit. MDF is basically a mixture, it's a wood byproduct. It's like sawdust that's been mixed with adhesives and then pressed into a form. So it's, it's very stable from not warping. Plywood is very thin layers of wood and uh, the theory is that each layer, the grain goes a different way and that reduces warpage, which is true again, until you get to a larger piece because the exterior layer, if it gets wet and then dries, is gonna cause warping of the all the layers. And we don't want our substrates to warp because two things can happen. If we grouted the piece, the, it will crack the grout. And in some cases, it can even pop tiles loose. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, wood is good, affordable substrate for indoor projects, as long as you keep your surfaces under 24 inches. Thank you. <laughs>
Life's a mosaic. You pick the pieces.